Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Street Tips here. It's day seven of the Silver Cell operation. We're cranking along nicely here at 1.3 amps with 3.6 volts. So I think what we'll do here is we're going to recharge the anode basket with some of our impure silver now let's take a look down inside the silver cell and look at our crystal growth in here. Oh yeah, look at all them beautiful silver crystals. High purity silver grown in an electrolytic silver cell. It's getting time to uh, think about knocking these crystals down. You can see they kind of droop down on their own as they grow out away from the sides of the silver cell. And I did want to do a little bit more commenting about why I'm holding silver. Uh, I think some people kind of maybe took me the wrong way. The reason, there's two reasons. Number one, this is what I do. I am a silver refiner. It's my hobby, and this is what I do. And uh, the second reason that I hold silver, and the most important reason, is to preserve and protect the value and purchasing power of my hard earned savings. I'm not hoping and waiting for a great rise in price of silver so that I can resell it and make a huge profit. Although that could happen, but that's not why I'm into it. The reason I hold silver is because, especially in this time, uh, the value of dollars is declining but silver and other precious metals are rising so rather than hold my savings in a stack of paper dollars I prefer now this is me I prefer to hold my savings stacked up in silver I like to carry this around in my wallet and uh, whenever these kinds of discussions come up, I like to pull this out and I throw it up on the counter and I ask the person I'm speaking with, how much gasoline do you think that will buy? Back in 1964, a gallon of gasoline cost roughly 25 cents. Remember this little sign right here? You don't see it anymore. The person buying the gasoline would pull a quarter out of their pocket, one like this. And this is a 1964 minted United States 90% silver coin our coins used to be 90% silver. And that's what we use to buy a gallon of gasoline. In the area where I live, gasoline is about $3 per gallon. Here's a picture of the uh, App Store 
and what I have is an app called PCGS Coinflation. It's free and I have it on my phone. And what this allows me to do is this is a uh, United States minted silver quarter dated 1964 and I can go on here and I can search for my coin and find out what the value of a Washington quarter is. They were minted between 1932 and 1964. I have one quarter so I press the calculate button and we see here that a single quarter, this quarter right here, in priced in silver, is worth four dollars and twenty cents. So, if we take the value of our quarter, because it's ninety percent silver, divide it by the price of gas, three dollars per gallon. Let's see, we got 4.2 divided by 3 equals 1.4. What that means is that this silver quarter, the value of the silver in it, will buy 1.4 gallons of gasoline. I'd have to convert my silver quarter to paper dollars because the gas station will not give you they'll only give you 25 cents worth of gas for this quarter so I'd have to sell this quarter for four dollars and twenty cents and then I could take my four dollars and twenty cents in paper money and go buy 1.4 gallons of gasoline and if you notice gasoline today priced in this kind of money this is not fiat money. This is real money. It contains 90% silver. So priced in silver, in real money, a gallon of gasoline was more expensive back in 1964 than it is in 2023. Now, what does all this mean? What it means for me and me personally is that I do not want to store my hard-earned savings in dollars that are declining in value. What I want to do is I want to store my hard-earned savings in metal that's rising in value to protect and preserve the purchasing power of my savings. All right, we've got our silver cell all Recharged with impure silver shot. We've got uh, 1.4 amps, 3.6 volts. If you look down in here, silver or the uh, electrolyte level looks okay. So I don't think I need to adjust that any. And uh, as far as this uh, business of <laughs> holding precious metals you can hold your savings in dollars if you want I'm not trying to convince you not to hold your savings in dollars pointing these things out because they don't teach it in school about inflation I'm not trying to convince you to hold your savings in silver that's what I'm doing and the reason I'm doing it is because holding savings in dollars is not a good idea. The value of the dollar is declining. If you want to hold your savings in dollars, then that is perfectly okay as long as you're willing to accept the fact that it will be worth less next year at this time. This will conclude the video. Thank you for watching.